Week 4 Friday Morning Prayer Oh God come to our assistance Oh Lord make us to help us Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end now Hallelujah I am the holy vine which God my father tends each branch that yields no fruit my father cuts away each fruitful branch he prunes with care to make it yield abundant fruit if you abide in me i will in you abide each branch to yield its fruit must with the vine be one so you shall fail to yield your fruit if you are not with me one vine i am the fruitful vine and you my branches are he who abides in me i will in him abide so shall you yield much fruit but none if you remain apart from me psalm 51 a pure heart create for me o god put a steadfast spirit within me have mercy on me god in your kindness In your compassion blot out my offense O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin My offenses truly I know them my sin is always before me Against you you alone have I sinned what is evil in your sight I have done that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge o see in guilt i was born a sinner was i conceived indeed you love truth in the heart then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom o purify me then i shall be clean o wash me i shall be whiter than snow make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive from my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt your pure heart create for me o god put your steadfast spirit within me do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your holy spirit give me again the joy of your help with a spirit of fervor sustain me that i may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you o rescue me god my helper and my tongue shall ring out your goodness o lord open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise for in sacrifice you take no delight burnt offering from me you would refuse my sacrifice a contrite spirit a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn in your goodness show favor to zion rebuild the walls of jerusalem then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice holocaust offered on your altar glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end Amen. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Canticle from the book of Tobit, chapter 13, verses 8 to 11 and 13 to 15. Rejoice, O Jerusalem, since through you all men will be gathered together to the Lord. Let all men speak and give God thanks in Jerusalem. 
O Jerusalem, the holy city, he will afflict you for the deeds of your sons, but again he will show mercy to the sons of the righteous. Give thanks worthily to the Lord, and praise the King of the ages, that his tent may be raised for you again with joy. May he cheer those within you who are captives, and love those within you who are distressed, to all generations forever. Many nations will come from afar to the name of the Lord God, bearing gifts in their hands, gifts for the King of Heaven. Generations of generations will give you joyful praise. Rejoice and be glad for the sons of the righteous, for they will be gathered together and will praise the Lord of the righteous. How blessed are those who love you! They will rejoice in your peace. Blessed are those who grieved over all your afflictions, for they will rejoice for you upon seeing all your glory, and they will be made glad forever. Let my soul praise God the great King. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Rejoice, O Jerusalem, since through you all men will be gathered together to the Lord. Psalm 147 Sion, praise your God, who has sent out his word to the earth. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem, Sion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoar frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sion, praise your God, who has sent out his word to the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 2, verses 19b to 20. With Christ I hang upon the cross, and yet I am alive, or rather, not I, it is Christ that lives in me. True, I am living here and now this mortal life, but my real life is the faith I have in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. I call to the Lord the Most High, for He has been my help. I call to the Lord the Most High, for He has been my help. May He send from heaven and save me. I call to the Lord the Most High, for He has been my help. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I call to the Lord the Most High, for He has been my help. Through the loving mercy of our God, the rising sun has come to visit us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited His people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David His servant. 
as he promised by the lips of holy men those who were his prophets from of old a savior who would free us from our foes from the hands of all who hate us so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered he swore to abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence as for you little child you shall be called a prophet of god the most high you shall go ahead of the lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins the loving kindness of the heart of our god who visits us like the dawn from on high he will give light to those in darkness those who dwell in the shadow of death and guide us into the way of peace glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen through the loving mercy of our god the rising sun has come to visit us intercessions Christ is the image of the unseen god the first born of all creation and the first to be born from the dead all things are to be reconciled through him because he made peace by his death on the cross we pray to him lord jesus come to us today we have been baptized into your death may we be cleansed of greed and envy and clothed in the strength and gentleness of your love we have been sealed with the holy spirit who has been given to us confirm us in your service and help us to bear witness to you in the society in which we live before you suffered you longed to eat the passover with your disciples as we take part in your eucharist may we share in your resurrection you continue to work in your faithful people create through them a new world where injustice and destruction will give way to growth freedom and hope our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen lord god bestow a full measure of your grace on us who are gathered here in prayer as you work within us to keep us in the path of your commandments may we receive consolation in this present life and eternal joys in the next we make our prayer through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit god forever and ever amen the lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life amen